Baruch here with GenConnect.com and I'm joined today by Linda Resnick, an incredible entrepreneur, businesswoman, and philanthropist. How are you, Ms. Resnick? I'm doing great. Nice to see you again. Thank you. You really have led the pack in philanthropy. What is the responsibility of large business, of big business, to be philanthropic? Well, um, I think the fact, and I put this in a very personal level, not on big business because I don't... Uh, I don't pretend to tell big business what to do in any way, shape, or form, nor would they listen to me. But for my personal um, satisfaction and that of my husband, we're privately held, so we have the ability to give back. And I really believe that it is privilege and luck that we are as successful as we are. Because after all, as you know, there are a lot of people that are smarter than we are and a lot of people that work harder than we do. But we've been very lucky. And I think when that happens to you in your life, it's your responsibility to give back. Beyond, beyond being philanthropists yourselves, you've recently empowered your own employees to be philanthropists on, on a micro level. You've given them funds and asked them to direct it to the charities of their choosing. That's what was right. behind that? Well, we get such joy out of giving, personally, that we wanted our employees to get a feeling of what it was like to give back. And so, and we also know that in our philanthropy, we can't possibly know which street in Los Angeles needs trees, or which um, a soccer team needs new jerseys, or where they need iPads in a particular place. And so, by giving our employees $1,000 a year to invest in the charity of their choice, as long as it's a 501c3, they are getting the experience of giving back, but they're also telling us, hey, there's a hospital in the Central Valley that's underfunded. And so we learned about that from our own employees, and then we built a children's hospital there. Uh, at that hospital and we would only know about it at that point because our employees told us. So they take the first steps and then you take it to the next level? Sometimes, yes. One absolutely. of the initiatives that you discussed last year with us was your education initiative. Right. How is that going? It's going brilliantly. Uh, it is not an easy road to hoe. Uh, education is very difficult to deal with and I never dreamt in my entire life that I would dedicate this part of my life to education. Um, but I have, uh, because the need is so great. If you heard the panel today that I moderated, yeah. you, you've heard from experts and they've told you that 75% uh, of today's youth cannot go into the armed forces because they don't have a high school diploma or because of obesity or a criminal record. I mean, that is criminal to say uh, in one word. And so... Um, what we've done, we deal with 38 schools so far in the Central Valley by giving them school grants and uh, offering scholarships to all of our employees in the Central Valley um, to their children and grandchildren. So we, we give out about 100 college scholarships a year. Uh, we also have a charter school that is uh, 6 through 12. And uh, if those children graduate, they automatically get a, a scholarship to college. And it has been very rewarding. Um, and we have a preschool, which is so important to children uh, to get that first start in life. Because if they don't get an education before they go to first grade, they really are behind for the rest of their education life. And so um, those are some of the things we're doing. But the big idea that we're doing is career tech. And that will be um, an agricultural program where children will identify themselves in the seventh or eighth grade. And when they enter school in the ninth grade, uh, through high school, by the time they graduate, they will have been uh, apprentices at our, uh, our factories and um, places in the valley. Uh, they will shadow you know, great executives. Uh, they will be taught classes in high school. And by the time they graduate high school, they will have the equivalent of two years of community college. So they can either go directly into a middle management um, uh, job at one of our companies in the Central Valley, uh, or they can go on to a four-year uh, school. And uh, we're very excited about it. We're working with community colleges, we're working with high schools, and we're working with educators that are building the curriculum this year so we can start in the following year uh, to bring ag career tech to the Central Valley. It really is an incredible initiative. And in, in addition to education, you've supported so many different causes. What cause do you think right now needs the most attention from the general public? Education. 
education. Yes, that will cure poverty in the end. Uh, you know, there are so many jobs for skilled people and so many people out of work because students are not getting the education they need to be able to tackle the jobs of the 21st century. And so education is the future of America. We must get serious about it. And I think, as you heard, there are so many great minds working on it today. I think we will reach a critical mass and we will turn the corner on education in America, I pray. You really do live an incredible life, both in philanthropy and in business. What's been the number one piece of advice that you've received until now? I, I don't know. I've, I've had a lot of mentors in my life. Um, but I think that my spiritual and emotional awakening, um, it's not one piece of advice. It's the experience of being part of the Aspen Institute. And um, what I've learned being here over the last 14 years, it really has changed me from being focused on business to being focused on the world and its problems. And so um, I, Walter Isaacson is my hero. I have lots of heroes, but I would say that he's number one uh, because of what he's created here over the last 10 years at the Aspen Institute. So that's what I can say. Thank you, Ms. Resnick. Thank you. And for more with Linda Resnick and to learn more about her incredible work in business and in philanthropy, be sure to check out GenConnect.com.